Hi everyone, I'm Reena Agustin and welcome to Community Impact. The reason we do this show is to bring to you the amazing people that are making difference in the community. Today I have the privilege to interview the president of Brisbane Cricket League. He hails from a small town called Dakoha, Jalandhar in India, Punjab. He migrated to Sydney in 2007 at the age of 19 just because he had his dreams to settle down in a foreign country. And he studied hospitality in Sydney and then migrated to Brisbane in 2011 to stabilize his life. He has a beautiful daughter and his wife who are stuck right now back in India due to COVID. And uh, here he lives with his father and younger brother, Love. He is running an association called Brisbane Cricket League along with his school time friends, Mr. Paramjit Singh and Harry Singh who he met during his initial days of play playing cricket. All three of them had a motive to bring quality multicultural cricket in Brisbane. So they sat down, put the plan together and the result, everybody could see it on Saturday when I was present to see the finale. What a privilege to have you here at the show, Mr. Kush Guy. Thank you, Rina, for inviting me. It's a privilege to come into the show and discuss our plans, what we have it over there. I would like to thank you, Mr. Rashpal, for inviting me to the show. Mm -hmm. Kush, I saw you on the finale Sunday, yes. right, last Sunday. So I met you for the first time and I was mesmerized when I saw the cricket and the people you brought together on that day. Yep. So the multicultural teams were playing. So tell me what is BCL? So actually BCL is called Brisbane Cricket League Incorporated. It is formed by three persons, which was myself, Harry and Param Ji Singh. So Param Ji Singh is my school time friend who has been also involved in cricket in Sydney from the last six, seven years. And he also migrated to Brisbane and me, Pami and Harry actually, which I met him like, you know, during my initial days in Brisbane while playing cricket. So we all was looking at the community cricket that the way it was running wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. So then we sat down together, okay, guys, look, we're going to start uh, this event, you know, bring posters, make an app, make a live streaming. You have an app? Yes, we do have an app. Wow. So and we, two years back you started this? Yes, two years back we started it and we made our app in before the second edition of this PCL that was coming in January. And after that, we invested a lot of money from our pockets as well to develop the app and once it was done was made our work easy and you know we had a good commentators that day who was taking out all the stats over there and they were utilizing that app and that app has made our life much easier mm -hmm. with the live streaming and you know it's uh, going on now yes. perfectly so um that Multicultural Australia is something I really believe in. And that day when I saw so many multicultural people working at your, with your team, as well as playing, right? Yep. Um, how did you put this all together? How did you find them? And how did you put this all together? Okay, so what I was before BCL, I was holding like small tournaments of 12 teams, 16 teams. And then we start building up a relationship with them. And then suddenly some Aussie teams was interested to participate like and then when the Aussies were interested we set up a night cup and from night cup a lot of people started knowing my face and my committee members face and after that once we started it was just like you know amazing to have all these players and then now we are like having a brotherly relations with them mm -hmm. so there's a guy called Matthew from Alberton Cricket Club yes he especially came to finals Graham Mapri we went to hire his ground from with a Mali and then we met him and we became good friends. Mm -hmm. Now we do time to time dinners with them. Yeah, well. and, and now the relationships have been formed in such a way now it's inseparable. That's amazing. And, right. and now we just kind of were planning together something different for the multicultural community. And we got now almost 45 to 50 Aussies playing in Indian teams. That uh, is, wow, that's a yeah. big difference because, you know, uh, the reason why I believe in this is when I came to Australia, 
I saw that every community was sticking to their own community and that's when I realized that if we had to do that, we were better off in our own country. So that's True. why when I saw that multicultural cricket on that day and seeing so many cultures coming together and right now you mentioned 45 to 50 Aussies coming and mixing uh, with the uh, Indian team and playing, it's a huge difference. It's not Indian, it's a Pakistani, Sri Lankan. We All got Sri Lankan teams, we got Pakistan teams, we got Aussie teams now. Next season, I don't know how many is going to come, mm -hmm. but the last year was 48 teams was interesting. So that's equal and was really more, mm -hmm. but we couldn't accommodate them. So this year, I don't know what to do, <laughs> but we plan so for you, you just mentioned uh, before that you had um, you, the coming plan, the upcoming plan is to bring... A uh, Unity Cup. Unity Club. Tell me about Unity that. Cup. Oh, so, Unity Cup. Unity Cup. Okay, so what yeah. it's, uh, the plan is to do is we're going to set up like uh, six, five or six franchises, like of countries, which is India. Pakistan, Australia, and each team's um, gonna play with each other. So like, uh, let's say Indian team, you know, there's a lot of Indian players that want to play for India team. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix Indian teams into Pakistan team, Pakistan into Sri Lanka, so that it could be, could be a perfect multicultural. Wow, and it sounds gonna, like a mini IPL, mini wow. IPL, um, it's a mini World Cup in Brisbane, that mm -hmm. is what we are planning. Mm -hmm. And all games will be live streamed, which we are also planning, and that's a big project to hold and you know so Mr. Rishpal has said he's going to help us out yes, again. Yes, indoors is with you. Indoors with us. Yeah. So, you know. so uh, Kush, uh, why cricket? W when did you start? You know cricket runs in our blood. <laughs> that's, a, that's a main answer you know. Yeah. So cricket is a thing that makes you cry, that makes you laugh. When everything. did you realize? Yeah, well, I realized in 2011 mm -hmm. the, that you know, I literally cried when India won the World Cup. I was in yes. India, so we were jumping on the streets, everything. Doesn't, uh, despite I was a student citizen, I was like, okay, wow, well, it's India's won. Mm -hmm. And then moved back to, I, once I come back from India, then I migrated to Brisbane. I was playing for some uh, comps, which was a, or a warehouse comps or something. Then all thing I saw was, it wasn't like, a, you know, perfectly done, which is, like uh, we gotta give appreciation to the captains, which you know they gotta should be coming with the posters. They feel pr good, you know, proud. They would be interested. We gotta make these people interested in the comp, and that's what we didn't like about that comp. Then I moved into multicultural comps, where I saw people do it for money, which mm -hmm. is not uh, wrong, in fairness, because they work hard for it. But then my motive was not to make money, because we make always, you know, we make a good living every ourselves. So then we thought, okay, guys, let's do a BCL. Then we started appreciating the man of the matches, awards, giving kit bags. So kit bags was like worth $140, $150 to the player performer of the week. Whoever, whoever performs ultimate, like a special performance, we used to give um, kit bags. This year in front of you, we give a... Apple I, Watch? Apple, uh, no, that was a raffle. Okay. But we give uh, the gloves, SG gloves. Gloves and the cricket, yeah. Cricket equipment. So that, yes. was, that cost, is, cost us a lot. Absolutely. And then this year, we wanted to do different. We said, okay, let's have audience because last year, uh, in last edition of BCL, 150 to 160 people came in the finals. So we thought, okay, guys, these guys spend their time out. Let's appreciate them. In, by giving them something. So this year, we, that's why I put our raffle draw. Even you was waiting yes, for yourself. Yes. And then somehow we gave away $1,000 worth of vouchers. Yes, so you did. So we, we had a guy called Ajit Palchima who was, was working five. for our We Build Brands yeah. guy. So he sponsored $500 Westfield vouchers. Yeah. And then $500 worth of Apple Watch was sponsored by Global Driving Training. So, so it, that made little bit people happy you yeah. know you know uh, kush what i like what you said the thing that you said is you have to make everybody feel important yes and make them feel special they are putting their time right yes. and time cannot be replaceable with money yes am i right that's correct that's absolutely so if you give importance to the person who is with you in yes. the team yeah I, I love that now, and that's how it should be rena because I have seen a lot of people here, you know, taking grants, uh, doing nothing for the cricket, taking grants from the governments, and they provide one of the really bad quality cricket over here. And most of the teams are getting upset and they come to us and they start saying, you know, like, you know, we were want to play, we feel more proud over here to play with you guys. And that's what, 
you know we should be doing you know yeah. it's a community thing you know we are not yeah. here to make money out of the community yeah. you don't get any grants i don't get any grants at okay all. and uh, you only have uh, some really Sponsors. good people who are sponsoring yes. you yes like we got vikasina vikasina uh, from finance point and finance we point, had yeah. all the prince pahal from ozis mm -hmm. uh, lucky sidhu he's been a part of bcl from the second year yeah. second year consistently and consecutively and then because of people like them they are really we can do things like this you know such as putting nah, a stage from nah, from cool Kulcha Kulcha culture 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 yes yeah and sks accountants sng from yes. sks accountants and then you know these people they believe you know when they believe in us then only we'll be able to fulfill that project yeah. like mm -hmm. we did uh, uh, confetti launches which you didn't also <laughs> <laughs> it was you, beautiful yeah and then we put small chemicals so next season we're going to do more something big and mm -hmm. we have to but for that we have to start early because whenever yeah. the rain happens in february march it ruins our plan yeah we wanted to host actually in the night time where we would have put like co2 jets or flame hires for 10 10 meters which would be looking great in the camera you know it will happen it'll happen because when time. i saw i saw a vision in you i saw yeah. that you know you have big dreams the passion the the day on the day when you were running around the ground and i'm like who is he not knowing that you are the president yeah. i thought you were just giving me a brief of what's going to happen yeah. and i'm like you're the president my we people need to know you so kush yeah you've got future plans my future plans we want to start working with the government now to get like a first of all ground for ourselves and then we want to plan start planning a junior cricket where we gonna junior cricket yes, okay where we gonna start hiring coaches gonna pay them and do some master blasters comps and that's how we gonna build our community cricket and will take our kids to the next level yeah. and right now currently we are working with some premier grade clubs which is winamelli met uh, alberton and uh, one at uh, wellies where usman khwaja a multicultural guy has played his initial days of mm -hmm. cricket so we want to start work with them yeah. give them some players which mm -hmm. are already currently playing for them and after that once they go and they can maybe one day select it for to play for Absolutely. queensland or something you know. australia could be yeah. that could be so kush uh, anything for the f young girls we want to start the girls cricket too yes. but first of all we have to work with the councillors governments to get us a ground if yeah. we get the ground over there then only we'll be able to do it and mm -hmm. for that we have talked to miss uh, pinky singh yes. so that she can help us out in getting all the things that we want from the government mm -hmm. and then slowly we're going to apply the grants upgradation you know, and one day we're going to make the ground look good you know with yeah. the flood lights everything where our kids can play and can go yeah. to a further level yeah because kids are the future hey true and when i see the television now and i see some advertisements where they see cricket females playing the cricket yes they are right i'm now. like wow this is amazing yeah. you know every gender can play cricket i love cricket Yeah. I love it. And when I saw the females playing it that's when I'm like kush no, do, something do something for the we, ladies. We actually planned along with the BCL but problem was too many teams was there this time 36 we never expected it's a big record that we have made it in multicultural cricket 36 36 normally teams? yeah normally the maximum someone some another organization did was 32 teams mm -hmm. we did 36 and that was huge and we never had experience before so i always <laughs> like to take risk yeah. and the risk worked it out and then with the girls thing we believe the women empowerment should be there in everywhere yes. they should be working everywhere and that's why our committee compromises of three females out of 10 including my wife but she's attending all the committee meetings in um, from overseas on the video call yeah. and then parmjit's wife and then harris wife so we all kind of work together that now. is that is amazing so um the grant if it is given you if you are given the opportunity to do more you would be opening something for the juniors female male both kids that's correct and and something for the youth 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 we always going to make them play youth can never stop because because of youth like the players and the teams that are currently playing bcl we Uh, are there because of them yeah. and i would like to make a big thank you to them on this uh, studio today yeah. for believing in us 
for working with us and for making it work with us. Yeah. So only thing is we were we working with them to bring them on a professional levels and next season probably you're going to see the teams wearing complimentary shirts, mm -hmm. complimentary pads from our BCL. So, BCL will be given. So, so 36 teams played. Where were they all from? from? Uh, some from Australia, India, Pakistan, uh, Sri Lanka, some Nepalese, uh, Bangladeshis, mm -hmm. so all, all come, from all over the place. So all the teams are Brisbane based. All Brisbane based, and all they are like local clubs. So they they don't play anywhere else. So they play only local multicultural cups. Mm -hmm. And then we, when we started, there was no like a insurance kind of thing. So this year we put the insurance as well yeah. on the BCL mm -hmm. by working with Queensland Cricket and yeah. put the comp on the my cricket where the insurance can be covered in case of any injuries happen and then you know so then that's yeah. so you mentioned about women empowerment so what can you tell more about it more well, i believe women should be working in all the fields ahead of the men you know we we came from a society where we have seen a lot of women under you know work always stays in the household and but we want to change the society from them to working women you know they mm -hmm. can be a good assets to the society okay. and that's what we believe you know that's, and that's we, amazing take their own decisions yes yeah. they should be taking their own decisions you know they shouldn't be kind of you know you you gotta make them compress you know you don't want to compress the women you know so yeah. let them live their life freely you know wow, so they also deserve like to live it. freely you know? very good to hear Thank from you kush so um Kush, if there's one advice that you would like to give the youngsters, what would that be? So just follow your passion. Like, you know, if you work with a passion, one day you will achieve your success one day. And if you are involved in cricket, give you a hundred percent till the last ball because that one single ball can change your the whole game, you know. Yeah. So it's it's that that cricket is about that, you know. So you gotta just follow your passion, play with your hundred percent, keep looking after your body. Don't go into drugs. So yeah. this is things. That's yeah. So health is very important, hey? That's correct. Absolutely. So what's the future? What's next for BCL? BCL is we are waiting for edition three. So our sponsors are already happy with this one. So they want to carry on with the next project and keep supporting us. And then the Unity Cup, which we dis discussed already with the thing, we're going to do it in the night time. So mm -hmm. that's our thing. And then work, as I said, with council politicians yeah. yeah so to have our own home ground and that's it wow. and then we'll own go home from there ground. that's that's the thing so if uh, people want to follow you where can they find you they can follow us on the facebook page called brisbane cricket league inc mm -hmm. there's a website which is called brisbane cricket league.com you can send us a message if you want to join our club we got a private group member on the facebook which is brisbane cricket league group members then we got paramjit's number written down on the website and you, they can call me anytime if they need any help. Mm -hmm. And we, even you guys are not playing in our comps, we are still happy to help you get a ground for a Sunday game, which you guys don't want to miss, you know. We can get you a ground on Sunday. So give us a call. We'll definitely mm -hmm. try to help out our way to help wow. you organizing. So Where is your ground located? We use uh, Winnems, uh, Mellies at Tingalpa. We use... Uh, Ashgrove, we use Tansy Park, we use Alberton, Wungulba. We play all around Brisbane mm -hmm. and we just hire it from the clubs right now. But once we have our own facilities and then it, we will grow and have ourselves playing that's, over there. That's fantastic. Kush, it is a pleasure having you at the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much for all, sharing all the insights because cricket is something that everybody loves back home, right? Uh, growing up, my, I saw my brothers playing cricket. That's how I grew up. And my father never was interested, but my brothers had to watch it, so we saw it. So every child back home played cricket in the streets. Mm -hmm. And when I came to Australia, I saw people like in the grounds playing cricket. And, and when I was there at your event, I saw the passion in you. And I think that you will be a very good coach to train the young generation. Yeah, why not? But I'm just like right now concentrating in making this club bigger once we do that one that is my plan to go to Queensland cricket and just do a coaching coaching certificate of level one then you go to level two level three there's three levels of the cricket coaching so that's my actually plan is mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll work it out once this club is settled down 
I'm gonna probably gonna give it to someone else to run it. Yeah. That has a similar passion like me. Wow. So I that like is my plan. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. So we're gonna do that. Fantastic. Pleasure having you here and. Definitely a big thank you to your partners, Harry and Pami, yeah. who, has, who have been with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rina.